down there. There's a, a, we came to the door down there. Oh, they opened it.
pleasure to come to a graduation, see the happy faces of people who aren't ready to go out there and seek their fortunes. But you know what also makes me feel really good is to see the friends and family that show up to wish these gentlemen well and to share their success. You know, we're a family organization. My family, my father and I, started the school over 40 years ago. It was 40 years in March we started the school. And we've always felt like our employees are our family, our students are our family, and the graduates are the family, are the alumni family. We, uh, we, we take family very serious because we think that, you know, you had plenty of choices, other places to go, things like that. But you had faith in our family, in what we do, and you chose to come here. You chose to work really hard to get to the point that you are today. I can tell you, I'm sure that there's great success in front of you. Now, a little bit of warning goes with that. Sadly, you're not through with your education yet. And really and truly, you'll never be through with it. Because the moment you step out that door, technology changes. It's changing faster than I've ever seen it change in the whole time I've been doing this. And I started when I was 13. So <clears throat> you have to keep up with the technology, with the changes, and things like that. So I encourage you to work with people that we we work with. I Hacky, you know, they're uh, broadcast all over the state from here. And uh, also other organizations, National Comfort Institute, keep up with your HVAC excellence, uh, certifications. You know, you can always come back here and take additional HVAC excellence. If you want to go into the union, you'll have to have those five certifications. You've already got two. If you want to go into the union, you can, you know, come back here for some uh, math classes, you know, just kind of brush up on math a little bit things like that, just get with us and get ready to do that. Whatever you want to do, if there's anything we can do to help you, we're here to help you. Whether it's to call one of your former instructors, frantically trying to understand what's going on wherever it is that you are. Some, some of those calls happen. You're certainly welcome to go. You're certainly welcome to come back here and show us what you're doing. Show us your success. Show us Wearing a uniform and wearing your, are you driving your company truck? Well, let's know what happens. Six months from now, a year from now, 10 years from now. We want to hear about it. So, with that, I want to also thank you again. Thank the audience members for all of your efforts because this faith is always saying it's a, com it's a combined effort. Nobody does it. Very few people do it on their own. There's a lot of people helping along the way. So if I could have a round for all these graduates.
Uh, I remember there was a couple times a student here in, in the front row, won't mention the name, uh, kept coming up to me goes, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting this. And I said, just relax, take it easy, and do it one step at a time. And what we did is we did it one step at a time. He did it one step at a time, and then finally he came up to me one day and said, I'm getting this, I'm getting this. And you can see the light in his face just illuminate because he was finally getting stuff that he was trying to be showed or taught. You know, and that's every one of you guys. Every one of you guys are now going on that path to a very good career. We have an excellent staff here, and every one of us have worked in the field for some time now, and we can tell you that this is a good career to have. You want to buy tickets or, or, or season passes for the kids, now you're going to have that security and that money to do that because this will put a good security financially in your wallet and your bank accounts, okay? I know it's a little trying at times. I know it's a little hard to do it at times, but you just got to keep pushing, just like you did every day when you walked into my classroom, just like you did every day when you walked into Mr. Surgas' class or Mr. Uh, Rooker's, and then we got Matucci, Mr. Matucci's class. You kept coming and you kept coming and you kept learning. And that, to me, is why I get up in the morning, because every time I see your face coming in that classroom every morning, I light up, because it just makes me happy that you guys are doing the deed, you're doing the do, that makes you who you are, you know. This class is amazing, because most of you guys got, Paul is gonna hand out awards here in a, several mo in a couple minutes, and it's amazing. Almost everybody in this whole class got an award for something. We have a student of the month, right? That's right, we got student of the month right there. I won't say who he is, I won't point out it. Uh, we got student of the month and a lot of good, good um, people in this classroom, or were in this classroom. I'm really proud to be here. I'm really honored to speak on the behalf of the staff, and I'm really happy to be a part of what you did here at Brownson. So with that being said, I'm gonna hand the floor back over to Mr. Brown, or I'm sorry, Faith, and she'll continue the, uh, the program. And I just gotta say congratulations to everybody Keep pushing, don't give up, keep your chin up high, keep your chest out, and move forward from this day on forward. Okay, guys? All right. Thank you. is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you'll be successful. 
Remember, life is like a camera. Focus, focus on the important things, and if things don't work out the way you want the first time, get a better view and take another shot. Also, I, I wanted to give you a little, just a little, I was looking for some kind of funny or cute quote I can give you. I found one that was perfect for me because everyone knows that they walked in my office on a superhero. So I said, who needs superheroes when you have air conditioning? <laughs> Congratulations to all of them. <laughs>
<laughs> well, see, guys, they really were coming to school every day. Uh, All right, so in a moment, we are going to move forward with the passing out of the diplomas and letting you guys actually graduate. So um, what you're going to, now what we're going to do, because there's more than one of you, is um, when your name is called, you will go to Bill, who's standing over here with the diplomas. Family, if you want to come up, I'll be happy to take a picture of all of you. Um, and then graduate, you're going to go through the receiving line so all of the instructors can congratulate you as well. All right? You're a smart group, I'm sure you can remember that. Yeah. But before we do that, Mr. Brown has uh, one more word he would like to say. Just wanted to mention something because I just heard it today. <clears throat> a graduate of ours that uh, graduated probably around 10, 11 years ago, something like that, it's foggy, you know, after a certain period of time. Who spent time in the field, extremely sharp, worked real hard for this year. Uh, came back and talked for us for a little bit at night. And uh, he's had a number of jobs, including some teaching jobs, National Comfort Institute, and it's a, it's a really high level job. He just got hired by a friend of ours that has a good medium-sized commercial business. <clears throat> the arrangement is that the owner is setting himself up for retirement and he's going to hand the business over to this uh, graduate of ours. He's, you know, a lot of investment, a lot of things go into starting and running a successful HVAC commer commercial HVAC business. And he's going to get this one handed to him. Nice. So you never know. Just never know. You know, try every opportunity and see where it takes you because I was just bowled over by the fact that yeah, somebody's in handy a business like that. So I will now turn over the podium to Mr. Blair to do the last roll call. <coughs> Next graduate this evening is Mr. Jonathan Campos. All Our next graduate this evening is Mr. Julian Chavez.
graduates this evening is Mr. Joshua Fokopai. Congratulate or at least honor Juan Garcia. Our next graduate this evening is Mr. Arnold Pinto. All right, here graduate this evening is Mr. Francisco Leone.
graduate this evening is Mr. Thomas Pruitt the third.
Sanchez in his absence. Our next graduate this evening is Mr. James Talbert.
Our next graduate this evening is Mr. Kenny Urban. All right, Kenny. Our last graduate for the evening will be Mr. Melvin.
So if you would all stand up right now, turn around so everybody can see your beautiful faces and wish you another round of applause.